Previously on Drake Paragon. The wind is now 26 knots. Welcome to that. What do you do all that? I hang out I with hang you. Out. Almost looks like the light is just shining down on onset. Back in my home, home state. You're not giving me that warm, fuzzy feeling. Hey, what could happen? Oh my god! We just did this whole anchoring thing. What will we do? And we can climb up a track like this. This is the entrance to the Cape Cod Canal, southwestern entrance. It's 7.23 in the morning, and the slack tide happens at 7.39. Our speed through the water is about six knots, and our speed over ground is 5.9. So we're in slack. It's a bird. Hello. And further in the distance, I see a kayaker. Wow, beautiful morning. I wonder if you rode the current all the way down the Cape Cod Canal. There's a bridge we're going to go under. I've never seen that bridge down. I've only seen it up, so it's usually up. We are out of navigational buoys to follow. Now it's just stay in the center. Over here, we have Fred and Sally. Hey guys, good morning, how you doing? Yeah, have a good night? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and their kids down there playing in the water. It's a beautiful morning. There's hardly any wind right now, but in the forecast, it's going to be southwest 10 to 15 in the morning, gusting to 20, and then later on in the afternoon, it goes from 15 to 20, gusting to 30 out of the south. And we're going north, so we'll have some strong winds behind us as we go up the coast. If we can go fast enough, we'll book it all the way up to Gloucester, Massachusetts and anchor behind the breakwater in the outer harbor or maybe go into the inner harbor and anchor right in the middle of that. Other options are to take a mooring ball in the inner harbor in Gloucester. Or we might not go fast enough to get there before sunset, in which case we'll go to Boston, Massachusetts and maybe anchor off of one of the Boston Harbor Islands, so I'm concerned about that because it doesn't look like we'll be able to anchor in the lee of strong southwest winds, which is in the forecast gusting to 30 until midnight. And I don't want to be dropping the hook in a place where I can't be in the lee of 
the island. There are a bunch of islands there, but all the good anchor spots are on the southwestern side or western side, so we wouldn't be in the lee of any of them. So we might not do that. <laughs> There's a boat coming through the canal. Good morning. Beautiful day for a sail. Huh? Have a good trip! Over here we have an enormous vessel that's based here. You see off the stern it says Cape Cod Mass. The Kennedy. see on the big freighters that have the smaller crews. I guess Kennedy is made for carrying a lot of people. Let's see, three big life rafts on the port side. Let's see at least one on the starboard. It's like a maritime university or something like that. Kennedy is a part of a maritime university? Like oh yeah? Mo says that this entire complex here on the port side is a maritime university and that like boat is a part of it. bridges. Even if I know that I will have no problems fitting under it, I still dislike them. On the chart it says 135 feet vertical clearance, only 7 feet when it's down, so it's definitely not down. And it looks as high as it can be raised, so it must be 135, so we'll have no problem. So stop worrying about it. <laughs> I was actually traumatized as a child <laughs> when I got my first boat. I hit a bridge and I was in some strong current and the mast almost came down. I just didn't know, I was too much of a newbie. That event was terrifying, but it did not, it did not stop me from continuing on. Well, look over here on the port side, we've got this big wind generator moving. It says MMA on the side of it. Wow. I wonder how much that thing generates. My own experience with wind generators and solar panels makes me wonder. The, the wind generators, they, they're noisy, they cause vibration. With many of them, they can't really stop spinning when it gets really windy, and they can't stop generating electricity, so if your batteries are full, then they need to divert that electricity to somewhere else. In some cases, it's to a heat sink that you put in the engine room that gets hot, which is not something that I want to do. Uh, in other cases, they send it to a hot water heater, but then, you know, me, I would worry that eventually that hot water would get so hot that it would boil all the water away and be a potential safety hazard. And then their bearings eventually break or wear out and need to be replaced, and sometimes that can be a big job but solar panels you know they just keep on trucking they don't need any maintenance they don't wear down they kind of last forever i think very happy with them i had a couple of wind generators off the stern but with a total of 15 solar panels i've never needed to really use the wind generators i had them for six years and eventually their bearings wore out because they would spin even if i didn't need them so I got rid of them. There's some sort of observation station with the radar above. They must be checking ships that go by. I can't see a sign, so I don't know who they are, but 
They're watching you. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning for going through. On the streetcar in Tacoma on a Sunday. Pretty cool July. looking bridge, huh? You're kicking yeah. off your sandals as you stare up at the sky. I look at you and fumble for the perfect thing to say, but my nerves get in the Bunch of cars, I've cherished you park. for ages, oh, but my words were like in cages. So afraid that you just saw oh, me as a friend. Wow, look at all the people fishing. Now I want to set them free. My Maybe we should be fishing. The key, but I am frozen hmm. once again. Get up and knock You look at me with patient eyes And flash a little smile My heart is jumping from my chest And filling up the aisle I've done the calculations And I've studied all the signs And I've read really cool the the house right here on the Coastal Waterway Sit on your back porch And watch the boats go by That's the shy Maybe when I'm 95, I'll live on a waterway that has sailboats going by. much sailing in as I can before then. So many summers in the times long ago. We were kids and nothing mattered in the sunshine on the coast. I never would have planned it, but the feeling still expanded into more than just a friend that I adore. Oh, oh the entire thing. There are people fishing. So afraid that you will walk for my conscience sake I have to take I'm really glad I put these mass steps in. They help enormously getting up the rig rather than having to depend on someone to send you up with a halyard. And you can climb up a track like this. vehicle campers along the side there. Oh, you crewed on Debbie's boat going down the ICW in the south. Welcome to the north. Wow. There's the tug. He's got no problem going against the current.
they really monitor the boats that come through the Cape Cod Canal. A couple of observation stations, radar towers, a little marina right here. Maybe that's where you'd wait if you're going the other way and we've had to wait till morning for the current to change. Exiting the Cape Cod Canal. Here on the starboard side. I'm wondering if you know you're going to have winds of 15 to 20 and gusting to 30, and you're going to be going straight downwind, should you even bother with the main at all? We don't have a whisker pole, so we can't really hike the jib out. I do have a whisker pole, it's just not set up. One of the last things on the list. I think we're just going to go with the jib alone. We'll see.